Hello and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. Today I would like to talk about Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is a retailer selling lots of cheap items. It probably will do good during an inflation or recession and has done good well during those periods. i got a lot to do so let's get started but before we go I want to remind you that Stock Planner channel is an educational channel and we're sharing some ideas. This is just my idea here that I executed this morning and we'll have to see how it turns out. Dollar Tree. Looking at the daily chart in Trading View, which is a free charting package out there, it does many things. You can have a watch list and has a screener and you can put some indicators in. This is the zigzag indicator. It's it's perfect, but it looks to the future, so you really can't use it to trade. But the job of a swing trader is to capture these major swings. And then I how I use this, the zigzag is that I find that other indicators, this is the MACD says go up it's the stochastic says go up and this is rsi it says go up and they all i like when all three of them occur but that one says go down so i find the indicators that that try to predict these swings this is dollar tree and it had a swing down and right now the zigzag is one bar doesn't know what it's doing zooming out a little bit we can see that the last bar with the down bar and it's a little bit down yet today but the zigzag thinks it might go up. MACD is pointing upward and it's below the zero line, so that's one of my requirements. The stochastic RSI looks to come around soon, and so does the RSI looks to come around soon. I usually like to wait till they come around, but I'm going nearly three months out, so I can come in a little early. And I think it's going to end up in three months up in this area somewhere. But I do think it's going to end up higher than 95 in three months 95 remember that higher than 95 in three months and let's see if we can put something together with that but first I want to take a look at the, the stock itself and its fundamentals now you, I'm going to remind you that a swing trader relies on its technicals charts and indicators and probabilities and but it's important to know something about the stock Finviz is another free tool it has a paid version free version a lot of people use the free version. And it says the target price is 108. And that's about a year out. 108. And I want it to get up to 95 in the next three months. Into the gap. And typically, a stock will tend to fill that gap. Now, it seems to be not acting up. It's heading down, continuing down. And it's lost about 25% to 30% of its all-time high. And that occurred in April, May time frame. It's a profitable company though. It's optional and shortable and it has a, a hold rating according to Finviz. Tip ranks is another tool I like to use. Trading at 86 again, going to 106 with 120 high here. Moderate buy, covered by 11 analysts. That's good coverage and it's a seven ranking. Hedge fund activities has increased. I like to see that. I'm on the right side there. If, if they're right, who knows if they are or not. Next earnings date is November, the end of November. And as I said, it's profitable. And this this looks good. The same store gro growth has been boosted due to COBA. And that's about a two-month, one-month article. Not even a month. Simply Wall Street is a tool. It's not for free, but you get five. You can do this for five stocks a month for free. A paid version is only $10. So I, I like it because it's, grad it's got a lot of graphics. It puts this snowflake out. And what it, I can look at the snowflake. I like to look for green. But it's in past, it's been very good, best performance, the health of the company is good, and the value is good on it. It's trading below, 53, 35% below its, its fair market value. And the earnings are forecasted to grow 8.63. I'm not sure if that's good or not. That's not good compared to this, 67% in the past. The targets are competitor, Dollar General, Ollie's, Big Lots. Looks like Target's green. That's a little green, paling. And these are... Are a little bit darkish on the the trend to red. The valuation current price is 85, and it says it should be trading at 133. This is why I think a long-term buy three or four months out is a good good plan. The company and the market and in the industry, so it's outperforming the industry. That's that, these are good. And there's your growth forecast. It's upward. You would like to see a little more. Overall, I like to look for undervalued companies that are growing 
Dollar Tree fits that bill, even as the growth seems to be a little slower. But if our economy goes a little bit rough over the next three or four months, I think Dollar Tree will do well. Let's look at the chart one more time. Now you can see anything with the chart. Okay, I see that the zigzag doesn't know what it's doing here. And when it doesn't know what it's doing, I, I'm thinking it's going to go up. There's a trend up. I think this is going to come around. And I think the RSI, this is stochastic RSI, this is RSI. And I think it's going to go around. It's in, in oversold. Oversold. Now, will it happen or will it continue going down or will it go up? And if it goes up, I think it's going to hit at least that. That's 92. And I'm saying it should go around to 95. 95. If, so I think it's going to go above $95 in the next three months. Let's see if we can put it together a deal that if the stock price in three months goes above, any time above 95 we're going to have a winner. Okay, let's see if we can put a deal together. This is option strat, and you can build lots of different option strategies. It's a simulator using real data. I found it to be very, very interesting and good. And this, we're going to go long over the next two or three months, and we want it to be above 95. I say it's going to go up and hit 95. Well, as long as it stays above 87, it's saying my break even is 87.35. That's cool. Okay, I think it's going to get 95. Now, I want to set the chart range to 8% because I back tested a lot of my in symbols, stock symbols, at 8%. That over a couple months or a period of at least 45 days, there's a 70% chance that it's going to hit one or the other at 8%. In other words, and my winners are, are, more, are better than my losers based on the single. So once I get a single, there's a good chance, about 70%, I'm going to peg at 8%, which is right here. 8% 8, 8 is right there. $93. 8%. That's the target. But I said it's going to get to 95. So if it ever does, it gets 93 or 87. Uh, 90, but if it ever pegs at 88%, I can take some profit right there. Anytime along that line. Once it reaches 93, I'm going to think about taking profit. And likewise, if it gets below that 8%, but I like to set my target, my loss target at 3%. So my playing field is this, 3% is 83.50. That's my stop loss, at least my target. So if it's my requirement, I said I'm going to get 95. And as long as it gets to 93, I've got some winners on my hands, max winners. And if I want to wait till, till January, I can take the whole amount. This is a one for one almost, 250 there and 250 there, and we're risking 500. Again, break even, 87.35. How's that deal look to you? Looks good to me. And the reason why I'm going so far out this time, because I just don't know what's happening with this economy. There's a lot of uneasiness, yet I want to be long in Dollar Tree. 87.35. Let's look at that chart one more time. 87 right there. So if it gets past that, 87.33, we got some play and some winners on our hand right up here. There's some kind of monster, profit monster. And if it goes down here and hits 30, I think it was 83. I can't remember exactly, but 83. It hits 83 somewhere at any time, we might want to get out at 3% loss. Win 8% at $93, lose 3% at 83. Nice, simple trade. Don't have to watch it. Just set it and forget it. But I actually look, I look every single day. But, but you don't have to watch these so much. And it's not like buying the stock, which this stock would have cost, cost me 10 grand if I was going to buy it. Dollar Tree, three month trade. What do you think? Please leave your comments below. Like and subscribe. Catch you on the flip. I like what I'm doing and I have been getting more successful at it since I've been starting to share my ideas with you. Thank you. Maybe you ought to think about engaging too and leave a comment.